Uh, so you mentioned that reading and writing are also sort of an escape. In my struggle, you're writing about delving into your past. I'm wondering how you feel that this is an escape. Yeah. I wanted to stop that escape when I wrote this book. I wanted this to be, it shouldn't be an escape, it should be, be the life, and it should be about everything that one made in life, and, and the true conflicts, and the true hatred, and, and the true love. And I shouldn't tie myself, I shouldn't go away from anything, I should confront the, the, the conflicts. And I realized when I was writing, it was still possible to achieve that kind of selflessness uh, in the writing. It's like you disappear from yourself, and it's like you, you are not present. It's like when you're reading a really, really good book, you don't notice the time, you don't know who you are. You really don't know who you are when you read a good book. You are disappear from yourself. And that is possible, even when you write about yourself. Uh, which is very strange, but that's how it is. And I think in this project I tried to go to places in myself I haven't been thinking about, which is much more related to feelings and emotions and I mean, those kind of sensations, uh, because they are unfinished. Those memories are still unfinished. It's not that like they're formed into a way you perceive yourself, a way you understand yourself. It doesn't fit into a pattern. So I'm interested in everything that doesn't fit in for a pattern um, in, in this book. Um, 